Hi everybody, Brother Roy here. Yeah, I'm not, not, uh, don't have any bookshelves behind me. I don't have my suit on. We're broadcasting from a remote location. Um, we're down in, uh, uh, San Pedro, California, Bayview Baptist Church for a, uh, Dave Spurgeon revival. So we're gonna, we're gonna come to you this morning from the ocean. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Well, here's what I wanted to, here's what I wanted to address this morning for you real quick. Um, uh, uh, you know, I'm in a lot of, uh, fa Facebook groups, uh, King James Bible believing Facebook groups and, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, a lot of good brothers and sisters that are really defending the gospel of grace and once saved, always saved and, and the, uh, inerrancy of the King James Bible and all these things that we believe in so strongly. Um, but there's a, there's a virus in the machine, if you will. Um, and, uh, uh, that's what I wanted to talk about a little bit. I, I've had a few people ask me to do a, a video on this subject, and I thought there was no better place to do a video on this subject than right here. Right here where you can look out and you can see, hallelujah, the curvature of the earth. Yep. We're going to talk about flat earth today. Um, and, uh, you know, I, 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 what hurts me about this whole thing is, uh, you know, Ecclesiastes says that, uh, uh, dead, dead flies in the, uh, ointment of the apothecary send forth a stinking savor. And so that's a little folly for one who's in reputation for wisdom and honor. And, uh, you know, uh, that's, that's the bad part about this. If it, if it was just silly and foolish, I wouldn't waste my time with it. But when, but when you represent the gospel of Jesus Christ and you represent this dear old book, when you run around telling people the earth is flat, you lose all credibility. You've destroyed your witness. Nobody's gonna listen to you about the Bible. Nobody's gonna listen to you about Jesus. Cause you're saying that you think the earth is flat. And frankly, look, I, I'm not going to go into all the science of it because there's so many videos out there that just destroy any flat earth science. I mean, the one I like was the one about the moon, right? I mean, if we're in a, if we're in a shell dome bubble, right? And the moon is just in the bubble there going around with us. How come you, nobody anywhere on earth ever sees anything but one face of the moon? Look, if the moon was just going around over a flat plate, everybody in different locations will be seeing. I mean, there, I'm not even going to go into the science of the matter. It's absolutely ridiculous, absurd, beyond any rational thinking. I mean, this, this is, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. And, uh, um, you know, they, and, and to try and twist scripture, uh, in private interpretation to fit this delusion. Well, that's what I just wanted to go to a couple scriptures on the thing. Um, so, uh, if you have your Bible, uh, go with me first to, uh, to, uh, um, Isaiah chapter 40. Boy, ain't this beautiful out here? Huh? What a, what a place to have a Bible study. Amen. And, and let me say from the onset, you know, uh, uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I, I love you brothers and sisters that have got misled in this, this YouTube video delusion. I mean, uh, it, it just doesn't work in the real world. I mean, think about it. Look out here. That's, that's the ocean, right? You know what, what ships do and have always done on the ocean? They circumnavigate. In other words, that's how ships get from one place to another because we understand <laughs> the shape of the ocean and the planet that, that we're living on. I mean, you sit here and you watch a ship disappear over the horizon. It disappears from the bottom up because it's going over a circle. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's crazy. Have you ever flown in an airplane? When you're up in an airplane, you can see the curvature of the earth. I've flown to 14 different countries. You can see it from an airplane. Uh, then we got to talk about every window in every airliner is some kind of CGI screen. That, that is delusional, crazy, whack, whack. 
Amen. Well, let's go. I want to talk about what the Bible says. And, and, and the only place in the Bible where it says circle is in Isaiah chapter 40. Go, to, go with me to Isaiah chapter 40. And uh, we're going to look in uh, verse 22. Let's pray first. Father, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for grace. We thank you for your precious Bible. We thank you for the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the blood that was shed, covers all our sins, past, present, and future. Salvation, full and free. That Jesus is real and the Bible is true. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful day. And Father, just... Just help us to just give us some common sense, Lord, uh, uh, that we would not be looking stupid. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Isaiah chapter 40 and 32. It said, It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. He sitteth. Upon the circle of the earth, not within. See, and this is how Dr. Ruckman taught it, you know. And if anybody was ever going to notice that the Bible said anything about the earth being flat, it would have been Doc. I mean, do you know somebody that knew the book better than Doc? I don't. But he taught right here in Isaiah that the earth is a three-dimensional circle or a sphere. See, that's why God could sit upon the circle of the earth. Because a globe or sphere has a top. See, uh, if it was a plate, he would sit in it. Uh, Doc taught that. And, I mean, that's why we have north and south and east and west. That's why the Bible says that he stretches out the, 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 the north place and that he dwelleth in the north is because there is a massive universe and there are stars and our galaxies and planets. And he said he created them to be inhabited. And, and someday we're going to, when we get our resurrection bodies and, and we see him, we're going to be like him. Someday we're, we're going to be able to go out there and, and this whole playground has been created for us. And, but, where we're at right now, it's a planet. It's a globe. It's a planet just like all the rest of the innumerable planets that God created and put in this universe. It's another planet. And this is, a, this is another subject, but it does revolve around the sun. The universe doesn't revolve around the earth. It revolves. And see, this is the crazy thing. There was a time where all of these subjects were theory. They were theory. I mean, just like evolution is a theory. It's a, it's a guess about something that happened a long time ago that nobody was there, nobody knows, nobody saw. So we make a theory. We guess. Uh, we, we, we talk about, uh, um, uh, uh, what's the other subject? Uh, evolution. Um, gosh, I forget. I lose it. But anyways, it's a theory. Okay. Now, there's no theory on the shape of the earth anymore. There was once upon a time because we nobody was able to see from outer space, from high altitude, what everything looked like. But look, we there's over 5,000 satellites right now circling the earth. You can get real-time live pictures. There's no theory involved. This is a reality you can observe with your own kind, your own eyes and verify in real time. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's why it's such a delusion. In my church, we're right by Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas, Nevada. I had two men that I, that I preached the gospel with. I'm talking about King James dispensational Bible believing preachers, faithful men, church deacons, who've spent both of them each 25 years in mili Air Force military intelligence, satellite surveillance of the globe. You tell me these brothers are, 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 are involved in, in some, uh, 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 century spanning, uh, uh, uh delusional, uh, uh, pl plot to make everybody, th come on, man. Come on, man. I mean, th th that's just, we need some common sense on this. Listen, if Dr. Ruckman was still, was still here on earth with us, man, he would not 
be as gracious and as kind as I'm being right now. Oh, he to give you the what's for, that's for sure. Amen. Okay, so uh, like, oh, the other one I was thinking of was Big Bang. Where did have the universe begin? Well, nobody was there. Nobody saw it. You got to either believe the Bible or make a guess. That's why there's theories, okay? So you can make a theory about what happened because nobody was there back then. Nobody saw it. Evolution. Nobody was there back then. Nobody saw it. So we believe what the Bible says. But when you got 5,000 satellites, when we've sent satellites out beyond the solar system, when we have been due to, to the moon, when there is an international space station with cameras pointed back, to the earth, and you can look right now and see the earth is round. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Are you, are you, are you got your, your head stuck in a hole? I mean, this is absolutely delusional. There is the cutest little squirrel, and he's like two feet from me right now. That is crazy. Hi, little guy. I wish you'd come around with the camera. could catch him. Let me see if I can catch him. Look at him. See him? Can you see the little squirrel? He's right there by me. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, praise God. Thank you, little squirrel. You know the earth is round, don't you? All right. <laughs> Amen. Okay, I'm going to put this back. I hope I'm I hope I'm still in camera view. All right. So, he sitteth on the top of the globe, the circle of the earth. All right? That that's the way I always read it. That's the way Doc read it. Uh that's the way every Bible expositor that I've ever uh, uh, read in my 40 years of, of of reading commentaries on my way to a doctorate in theology. That's what everybody's always believed. That's what everybody's seen in the Bible. And how you're getting a flat earth out of the Bible. I've watched the videos. I've heard them string all them scriptures. You talk about a bunch of private interpretation out of context, misinterpret. Oh my goodness. It's a, 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 it's a, no, it's a nonsensical bunch of garbage is what it is. All right, and I'm, I'm not a scientist. I'm not going in all the science. You can look up the science videos. They smash that thing so easily. It's, it, 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 it's, it's not even funny. But as far as the Bible's concerned, there is nothing in the Bible that even hints that the earth is flat. As a matter of fact, I just showed you. It said it's round and he sits on top of that circle of that globe. Amen. Now, what about flat? What does the Bible say is flat? Okay. Go to Leviticus chapter 21. Leviticus. Chapter 21 and verse 18, 18. This is the only object that the Bible describes as flat. Get your concordance out. Look it up. Verse 18. For whosoever man he be that hath a blemish, he shall not approach. A blind man or a lame or he that hath a flat nose or anything superfluous. All right, that's Levitical law right there about who gets to go into the temple and be a priest and all that. He said, anybody that has a flat nose. I'm going to conclude with this. If Dr. Ruckman was still around <laughs> with all this flat earth nonsense, somebody might have got a flat nose. Spiritually speaking, of course. God bless you. You know what I'm fixing to do? Because <laughs> you know I, I've been in prison half my life and I haven't done it. I didn't even smell the ocean. You know what I'm fixing to do? I'm fixing to jump in to that ocean for the first time in a quarter century, man. I hope the fish don't get me. Amen. Well, God bless you. Praise the Lord. We'll see you next time. Amen.